evening everyone, it's Colleen, your historical homemaker, and today in American history, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, our 32nd U.S. President, was born today, January 30th, 1882, in Hyde Park, New York. What was one of his favorite foods? Well, he loved blueberry pudding. So we made blueberry pudding in the kitchen tonight, and it is delicious, and has a different texture because of the breading and the butter makes it so yummy and crumbly. And of course, you top it off with homemade whipped cream or you can use ice cream and it makes it extra delicious. You can find the recipe at thehistoricalhomemaker.com. Thank you for following and have a great night. To make blueberry pudding, add one cup of fresh or frozen berries into a small bowl. In a separate bowl, add one fourth cup of brown sugar and one tablespoon of flour and combine. Add the brown sugar and flour mixture to the blueberries and coat very well. Spoon in the blueberry mixture into a well-greased pie plate. In a separate small bowl, add one half cup diced butter, unsalted, and the flour. The recipe calls for you to rub the flour and the butter together with your fingertips until it's well blended. Add the brown sugar and mix. Add your egg, milk, and some finely grated lemon peel. Lastly, you want to add one half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Blend all of these ingredients really well. I'm using a uh, whisk just to make sure everything is blended and combined really, really well. Now it's time to pour the batter over the blueberry mixture. Now we're going to bake it. The blueberry pudding looks amazing. We're going to bake for about 55 minutes in a preheated oven of 350 degrees. The blueberry pudding is fresh out of the oven and it just smells so amazing. Oh, the blueberries and the butter and the brown sugar. I can't wait to eat it. Unfortunately, have to let it cool for just a little while and then we'll dig into it.